Hello, I'm Lena Taro. Let's take a look at how we can use the TI-89 to determine the least squares regression line. We'll be using an example from Chapter 3 of the Practice of Statistics. This example looks at predicting the price of a used Ford F-150 Superproof 4x4 based on miles driven. And I have data for 16 used trucks. So in list 1, I have the miles entered. In list 2, I need to enter the price. So I already have some data in list two. I need to clear that out. So I go to the top of the list and hit clear to clear that out. And then I'm ready to enter my prices in dollars. Now that the data is entered, let's use our calculator to calculate the least squares regression line. To do this, we'll hit F4, choose regressions. Number one, linear regression. Um, notice option two is also a linear regression. The only difference between those two is that in the first one, B is the slope, and in the second one, A is the slope. So the values of A and B are still going to be the same values for the slope and y-intercept. It's just reversed in terms of what they're called in the equation. We're going to choose option one, and my X list is going to be list one, and my Y list is going to be list two, and down here, uh, I've chosen to store the equation in Y1. For you, it likely says none, uh, so you would hit the right arrow and change that to Y1. This will allow us to graph the regression line over our scatter plot. I hit enter, and in a moment, it's going to give me my regression equation. I can see that my Y intercept is $38,257.10. Um, my slope is negative 0.1629 approximately, so that means the value of the Ford goes down about 16 cents per extra mile driven. Uh, we have our R squared value, our coefficient of determination, about 0.664, and our correlation coefficient is a negative 0.815. So let's hit enter on OK, and you can see that we have a residual list that was created. Negative values represent points that would be below the regression line, and positive residuals re would represent points that are above the line. Uh, we'll take a look at a residual plot in a future Tech Corner video. Um, let's see if we can get the line graphed over our scatter plot. Uh, to do this, let's hit Diamond Graph and choose Zoom. So F2, zoom, and we'll choose zoom stat, which is option 9, zoom data. So we can see that this line appears to be a pretty good fit. There are points equally spaced above and below the line.